Okay, we gotta take a look at this. Let's just move this stuff. Let's just move this stuff aside. We got more important, more important things to play with real fast. Okay. That bike just sent this to me. Let's see if we get a quick start guide. Box. Power supply. More powerful power supply. That link. Tape. Ooh, new Wi-Fi antennas. That's different. And, oh, different power connectors. Okay, what we're looking at here is the brand new B1 from Peplink. The B1. Boom. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so we got these new Wi-Fi antennas. That's different. We've got our power. Now, there's a B1 and a B1 5G. This is the B1. So we're going to unbox this baby. So this is going to be sort of our replacement to the 20X. Oh, interesting. So look at this. We've got four gigabit Ethernet adapters. Or, yeah, Ethernet ports. Two Ethernet WANs. Power, DC power. And then our Wi-Fi A and B for Wi-Fi 6. Let's pull up the specs. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the B1. And we don't want to confuse it with the B1 5G. So this is the replacement to the Surf Soho. We've got two gigabit Ethernet WANs and a USB-C WAN. So we can pair this with a max adapter. We have four gigabit Ethernet LANs. We have simultaneous dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 2x2 MIMO with Wi-Fi WAN. Supports for hot failover, WAN smoothing, and bonding. And there's a little one there, so I'm assuming with Prime Care. Full gigabit router throughput, 400 megabits per second of unencrypted speed fusion. That means this baby could be the perfect work from home router. Plug this into your cable internet, boom, you would have a 400 megabit unencrypted or 200 megabits per second encrypted speed fusion back to your corporate office. Recommended 100, one to 150 users, has 30 AP support, RPSMAs, and that's it, the B1, the B1T Prime. So it's a Prime Care device. Let's dig into it and let's take a look at what, what we have going on here. So let's get it set up. So I've got my power adapter. The power adapter comes with all these different connectors. So I'm US, so I'm gonna grab this US connector. Plug that in right there. Plug that in right there. And we've got our power. I like the look of these new Wi-Fi antennas. I don't know if they're going to stick to these on other models, but it, they look good here. I don't know if they're functionally better. Okay, so plug in our power. Let's see if our stat. Oh, yeah, there you go. Our status lights on. So we'll flip it over this way so we get status lights there. So there's our status lights. And grab my Ethernet here. Plug in my laptop. There we go. So we have our Ethernet. I'm going to get a USB-C cable. Okay, USB-C is plugged in. Router's plugged in. Got my quick start guide and my. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at this now. Okay, so I should I'm turn off my Wi-Fi for a minute here. I should get an IP address. There we go, 192.168.50.1. So I'll just go to 192.168.50.1. Click continue, click set up, admin. And the default password is admin. And it's gonna ask you to change your password. So we'll put admin. I'm gonna put in my lab password here that I kind of always use for all my lab devices. There we go. Password's been changed. There we go. So we're gonna call. We're just gonna call this Peplink. Uh, Peplink B1. Give it a nice little secure password. There we go. Save and apply. Okay. Now we should be able to have it boot up. Power up our USB-C there and then get online. You can see it's starting to flash there. The status light's coming up. 
you can see it seeing it as uh, resetting the modem right there. So we should get internet connectivity in just a minute. I'm gonna go grab a gigabit ethernet line. We'll plug in the ethernet WAN as well. Okay, so you can see my USB is connected to T-Mobile. You can see that I've got my SSID set up right there. And it looks, you know, I've got my two ethernet WANs, my Wi-Fi WAN, so I could drag this up here. Actually, let me do five gigahertz. And connect my five gigahertz to my network. Okay, and so then I should just be able to find my Westnet. There we go, connect, put in my password, and connect. Close, should connect. Okay, so you can see I'm connected to my, my Wi-Fi WAN. So let's just pretend that's my cable modem, um, and then my USB. So now we can set up Speed Fusion Connect Protect. So I can go to Speed Fusion Connect, choose my client mode, select my location. I'm just gonna do automatic, hit okay, hit apply changes. And now I can route my teams and my video applications by going back to SFC protect, route by cloud application. And so I can choose like Google workspace and zoom life size and zoom and WebEx, Microsoft Teams. And I can say protect these applications using bonding. Hit apply changes. Go back to my dashboard. And you can see there's my SFC protect set up right there. You go to status, speed fusion. And there's my USB, my 5G and my five gigahertz Wi-Fi, both connected and protecting my Teams and Zoom applications. If I wanted to connect this to my corporate network, I could add this to in control and just do zero touch configuration or provisioning with Speed Fusion, or I can go to advanced and actually create my own Speed Fusion tunnels right here. And look at all the features this router has. We have Speed Fusion VPN, IPsec VPN, GRE tunnels, Open VPN. We have our outbound policy traffic shaping, port forwarding, NAT mapping. We have our QoS user groups, and you can have up to 10 user groups, um, bandwidth controls, application queuing with priority. We have application QoS. We have a robust firewall policies with outbound, inbound, internal intrusion detection and local service firewall rules, free content blocking and application aware block application blocking. So we got layer seven and like ad aware and pornography. I can block routing protocols, OSPF and BGP. We support remote user access. We actually support OpenVPN inbound, PPTP or L2TP. So if you wanna come into this network, Radius server, certificate manager, service forwarding, service pass, pass through, GPIO. So we have our GPIO with ignition sensing. Oh, well, this one's in input sensing, but. So not ignition sensing, but we have our GPIOs. We have our network time protocol server, grouped networks for firewall policies, our SIM toolkit if you have the 5G version or the USB, the Max adapter. So, I mean, it, you know, it's a full functioning router and this little tiny case, I and mean, this is the an epic work from home environment router that you can use for uh, work from home or VPN connectivity back to your office and, or if you just have your home office and wanna have reliable backup connectivity with the dual ethernet WAN ports and the ability to add a USB 5G. And then additionally, I believe I saw on here, yeah, look at this, with, with Prime Care, you get one VLAN as WAN. So you can actually have three WANs on this, plus two Wi-Fi WANs and the USB WAN. So there's a lot of internet options here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six internet options that we can connect to this little tiny uh, router. So go to buypeplink.com or check it out on peplink.com and let me know what you think.